Hi there, my name is Margaret. I'm in the Phoenix Park Visitor Centre. I'm the head guide here. Um, and we're in a section of the park here where coming through the Arboretum uh, it follows on then to a lovely walkway. But part of that walkway is a badger set. Um, now the badger set, or otherwise known as on Brock, um, they've been here for hundreds of years and this badger set is quite large. We can see various entrances to the badger set and exits. And of course the badgers are nocturnal, so that means they just come out at night time to feed. They're a very secretive animal, very beautiful animal. And I come out every few weeks to check on the entrances and exits of the badger set to see what the activity has been. Um, there's an evergreen oak, Quercus ilex, growing in part of the badger set. And we have various entrances and exits into the badger set here. So I can see activity when I come over after it has rained. Um, I can see the paw marks, I can see the scratch marks where they've been the previous night. And sometimes I'm lucky enough to see some of their hair. Their hair, unfortunately, was used back in the day for shaving brushes, um, which is very unfortunate for the badger. They're very, very strong creatures and it was known, um, it was perhaps part of a myth, but it was known that if you cornered a badger, he could actually snap the strongest bone in your leg, which is your thigh bone. And apparently old farmers would put sticks or cinders down their Wellington boots so if they were trapped by a badger, once the badger heard the snap, or the noise of the, the sticks or the cinders, he would let go. Now, I'm not quite sure if that's a myth or not, but that's in, uh, in old folklore. This here, um, I noticed over the years, coming over to the badger set, that when the soil was disturbed, I was discovering oyster shells, rather large oyster shells. So these oyster shells, I believe, is where there was a midden and a midden would have been a dumping ground in medieval times or prehistoric times. And bearing in mind that we're quite close to the Liffey here, um, you would imagine that they would have gathered oysters from there. And the very fact that some of the shells are very, very large, the water was very pure in those days, obviously. Um, so they would have had oysters that were much, much bigger than we would have today. Um, so I believe that there was a midden site here. I've collected dozens and dozens of these oyster shells just in the entrances and exits of the badger set after heavy rain. Now this is one of our stuffed badgers that we have here in the visitor centre, as I said on Brock. And the hair is fairly harsh so you can see why they came up with the idea of using them for shaving brushes. Um, and of course he has the distinctive markings here of the black over the white forehead. Their diet would be snails, slugs, any little insects crawling around, but they would basically eat anything. They have been known to come into gardens and eat the dog food, the fruit, they love fruit. And so that would be the lovely badger. Um, as I say, we have a few large badger sets here in the park that are several hundred years old. So thank you for watching the video. Uh, hopefully we'll see you around the park and in the visitor centre uh, when things open up um, and we'd love to take you out and about and maybe show you the badger sets. So hope to see you then. Take care.